There are basically two ways to approach marketing your business. This is a philosophical conversation, but I feel like I wish that someone had had this conversation with me when I was first starting or really any time. And this is something that I wish all my clients would understand. So the two ways are one, to be instantly impressive, okay? Or two, to be consistently authentic. So let me talk about both. The thing about both of these is that they both will build your business. They both will get you clients. But one of them creates burnout and the other one creates more deeper personal growth, in my opinion. So you can imagine which one I endorse. I've experienced both. Now let me explain what instant impressiveness means. It's whenever you work hard on trying to make a really great first impression. So you make sure your website looks amazing, right? You spend lots of time, money, uh, you hire out a wonderful creation of your website. Or number two, you know, you um, make your sales pages, whenever you sell your product, you make sure that the copy is, has been expertly crafted. You know, you maybe pay a copywriter lots of money to make that product sales page look, just sound amazing. That program of offer service sales page sound amazing. And the problem with doing that is that sometimes it works. People do sign up for your product or your service because the website looks great. The, the, the written copy sounds like it's too good to be true. Why not? Let me give, give it a try and you set up a really high expectation for your level of service. And you have probably experienced buying from a company or a person who sounded so amazing. You bought into it, and then when you experienced their service or their product, said, God, that was oversold. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't live up to the promises and the high expectations it created. So that's trying to be instantly impressive, trying to make a great first impression, um, working really hard to, to look good whenever you show up, et cetera. And that creates, like I said, I think it creates burnout. Um, it sets up uh, a real possibility for disappointment and discouragement. And it's what Carol Dweck, uh, there's a book called Mindset, by Carol Dweck, you know, popular Stanford professor. And she, she would probably call this the fixed mindset. This is when, uh, this is, and I, my, my belief is that the fixed mindset and growth mindset are actually within both, with both of those mindsets are within us. And our actions will either reinforce the fixed mindset or reinforce the growth mindset. The fixed mindset is when you think that you have got to prove yourself, and it, it, which means that you're always trying to look good, look right, do right, be perfect. Uh, you don't want to disappoint other people. So because if you disappoint other people or disappoint yourself, it's proving to yourself that you really aren't worthwhile. You really, you really aren't worth it. So that's the fixed mindset. Whereas the growth mindset says this, the growth mindset says, you can become anything you want to become with practice. You can become the best speaker, a, a better speaker, a better writer. Uh, your website can become increasingly better over time as you make adjustments and improvements based on what you understand of your ideal audience. Your uh, customer service can become better and better. Your way of providing your service can become more and more excellent. That's the growth mindset is that it's a lifetime. It's a lifelong journey that, that you, you, you might start out not very good. So therefore you have nothing to prove at every single stage. There's nothing to prove. There's only what you've already practiced and therefore what is true of your practice. So that is what I mean by the second method. So again, the first method the first philosophy, which so many of you I've noticed are just taking for granted that that's what marketing is, instant impressiveness. The first time a potential client sees my website or sees my social media, it's got to be really great. I've got to make my Facebook page look really amazing. I don't make that effort. 
I don't make, I don't, I don't do that. I do whatever is easy for me, relatively easy for me, or rather what I do, whatever is authentic, whatever is natural for me to do. Of course, I try to care. Of course, I want to care about the visitor, but my caring isn't trying to prove that I look amazing and that they should hire me. My caring is like, I care about them enough to understand them. And also I care enough to explore my own ideas and my passions and my, my style. And so I'm just going to create with joy, with experimentation, with exploration, uh, and put out whatever is not too hard. It's relatively easy for me to put out just like that. And if you don't like it, fine, because there's lots of people in the world. Growth mindset also means not being so afraid that God, if I lose somebody, somebody comes to my website, somebody comes to my Facebook page, somebody sees my YouTube video and maybe it's not impressive enough for them. Maybe it's, maybe they're an ideal client, but then I lose them because I didn't speak as well on that video or my, my article wasn't written as well, or my webpage isn't as impressive. You see what I mean? All this fear comes from a fixed mindset and the idea that you need to be instantly impressive to your ideal client, even if it's your ideal client. Okay. To me, I don't care about impressing you, right? As you probably know by now, I simply show up authentically day after day, seeing every action in my business as an act of personal growth. Showing up right now with you here, it's personal growth for me. I get to explore my thoughts. I get to express my care, practice sharing love through content. It's just, it's just, it's just a practice. And as I practice and as I notice what works, I learn from, oh, audiences like that. Okay, got it. Let me practice more in that area. Or hmm, this one didn't work as well. How can I practice um, something that is more in alignment with what my audience wants and what I want too? You know, so it's all just practice. So that's what I mean by the second method of consistent authenticity. It's just you show up. You care enough to show up. You care enough about your growth your personal growth to show up and you care enough about your audience to show up consistently sharing your ideas, sharing what might be helpful, sharing what might be inspiring, sharing your, your public journaling of your thoughts, your public, public working out of your ideas. Okay. So consistent authenticity is, you know, regular articles, regular content, regular offers. This includes regular offers. Like, Hey, when was the last time you told your audience about your service? or about you know whatever you're selling. That's consistent authenticity too. It's like, hey audience, just wanna remind you this week what my offer is, or this month, at the very least once a month. But you know I make an offer every week. Every week I'm trying to sell you something, but I'm not trying so hard to say, well, this better work, this better get enough clients, this better get enough sales. No, I'm like, every week I sell something. You know, it, 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 sorry, I should say every month I have some new thing for sale or something old for sale. But every week I, I have some kind of sales message once a week. And it's like, I don't care if it works well or not. I know that if I keep showing up and if I just keep trying and, and not, not trying so hard, but just keep showing up with care and love and experimentation and observation and learning, it's going to get better and better over time. And it has. And that's the point is that I hope that I wish someone told me this, you know, 10, 11 years ago when I started my business, and I wish someone told me this seven years ago or five years ago, is that, George, you don't have to try so hard. You just have to show up consistently. And if you show up consistently, the great thing is that you grow as a person, and that's the most important thing anyway. It's not about how many clients you have or how much money you have. It's, are, am I growing as a person every day and every time that I show up? And that's what cons the path of consistent authenticity of, of allows us to do. Knowing that if we keep showing up, exploring, experimenting, caring for our audience, learning from them, learning about them, and then continuing to experiment more wisely, grow in that direction, then guess what we guess guess what we ha happens? We become authentically impressive. Authentically impressive. So what this means is. I'm not trying very hard. I'm just showing up with my passion, my care, my joy and connection with you. I love, you know, connecting with you and, and sharing something that might be useful and inspiring to you. And maybe I'm impressive to some of you. Okay. I don't know. I probably am, but 
I'm not trying to be impressive, but it's just that when you keep practicing and growing in that direction, you really become that good. <laughs> you just, you really become that good. You know, you keep, you keep working your service and improving your service based on client feedback and your service just keeps getting better and better. And you're not trying that hard. You're just showing up and people are like, you're amazing. Oh, really? Oh, well, thank you. I guess, you know, it, it, it's not, you're not trying. And so what happens is all this pressure drops away. You just show up with love and joy every day. And you know, you rhyme even without trying it. Right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful and I hope this inspires you to just keep practicing and showing up, loving your audience, loving yourself enough to, um, to, uh, to, to really dive into your journey of personal growth in your business. Business is not about being impressive, great logo, great website, great sales page, great social media presence, blah, blah, blah. No, no, it's not about that, to me anyway. Authentic business is really a journey of personal growth. You're practicing and you're becoming authentically impressive. At every stage, you're authentically impressive just to the right people. And of course, as you keep growing, you're gonna become authentically impressive to more people just because you really are that good. So anyway, <laughs> I hope this helps. And thanks for those of you who are joining me, um, Paolo and Judy and Captain, Justine and Per and Michael and Sharon. Uh, so anyway, may you go forward with consistent showing up no matter the state of the world, no matter the state of the world. I'm recording this right now during the really the, the beginnings of the coronavirus pandemic and I'm here. And yes, of course, I have posted about the pandemic. I don't have to post about it every day. Some people really want a relief. They don't want to be hearing about all that stuff all the time. The same thing with you. You don't have to post about the pandemic every day. You show up and post about what you care about that in your field, you know. And yes, of course, you should mention the pandemic, you know, every now and then if it's related to your field and if you could share something with care. But just show up consistently. Don't don't let any world event stop. Your, your content and stop your offers. No, keep your content rhythm going, keep your offer rhythm going, uh, no matter what's happening in the world, all right? Because it's like the heartbeat of your business. Your heart's not gonna hopefully stop during a world crisis. Your heart's gonna keep beating, hopefully, and so should your business. Content and offers, content and offers. That's the, the rhythm of your business, okay? That's the rhythm of your heartbeat of your business. Okay, I wish you well. I will see you in the next video. Take care.